What is up guys? Welcome back to this channel and today we have a very special National Day edition video. I have two contestants, Ridwan Azman and Daniel Ron. And today they are going to battle it out and see who knows Singapore the most. This is how the game goes. We have two rounds. The first round is a rapid fire question, which means if you get one question wrong, you'll get zero points. But if you get two questions right, it will be two points. Get what I mean? Mm. And for the next round, you'll be playing an open-ended question. So I'm going to ask you some questions and then you're going to answer it. Are you ready for your first round? The yes. rapid fire question. Let's do this. How confident are you, Ridwan? I'm very confident. I'm never not confident. Naturally confident about everything in my life. Okay, let's start with your first question. The highest natural point in Singapore is the Pearl Hill, Bukit Timah Hill, Luxus Hill, or none of the above? Uh, Bukit Timah Hill. Are you sure? Oh! Or is it not? It's none of the above. Very tempting, none of the above. I, I, think, it's, uh, I think it's Bukit Timah Hill. You're right, Ridwan. Oh! That's one point for Ridwan. Okay. Your next question is, the Fountain of Wealth located in Suntec City was listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the largest fountain in the world in which year? 1989, 1999, 1988, or 1998? How old am I? I was born in 1993. How early can I think about uh, the fountain? Uh, it's either 99 or 1998. Uh, I think it's 1999. Is your final answer? Yes. I'm sorry, Ridwan. So... Ah, it was 1998! For the first round, Ridwan has... One point. Now we are on to our second round. So Ridwan, your hope is still not over yet. Mm -hmm. You have one point. And in my hands, in this notebook... Oh, and by the way, guys, get your notebooks from shorthow.co. Make sure you guys get your merchandises. We have, we have wristbands, we have notebooks, we have outerwear, we have shirts. Make sure you get it, guys. Link below. Okay, as I was saying, I have 10 questions in this notebook. So if you answer all 10 correctly, you'll get 10 points. Okay, your first question is, who was Singapore's first president? Lee Kuan Yew? Yusuf bin Ishaq? Yusuf bin Ishaq. Oh, wow. I wasn't even done. Yes, confidence. It's pretty easy. Is that your final answer? Yes. And Ridwan one has two points now. Yes. Who was Singapore's first prime minister? Ah. Don't even need to tell me the option. It's Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Okay, Ridwan. Congratulations. I've done my homework. You got three points now. <laughs> what happened to Singapore on the 15th of February, 1942? That was Total Defence Day. Okay, maybe I hear the options first. <laughs> so do you want to hear the options? I want to hear the options. Okay, one is gain independence, fall of Singapore, first Total Defence Day, or four, Hock Lee bus riots. It's on the 15th of Fe February. Yeah, I think it's number three. The first total defense day. I'm sorry, Ridwan, but the answer was the fall of Singapore. Ah! So Ridwan still has two points. Okay. What is the national bird of Singapore? A. Summer Tanega. Two. Crimson. Crim crimson Sunbird. Three. Crimson Rosella. Or four. Northern Cardinal. Cannot be Northern Cardinal because we are in the center of the world. Crimson sounds very, very uh, tempting. Why? How? How they put two options that has similar names but not really. I think Rosella, number three. I'm sorry, we doing Crimson Sunbird was the answer. Ah! I just changed it last minute. So we don't still has three points. Your next question is: Which was the first MRT station to be completed? A. Topayo. B. Jurong East, C, Ang Mo Kyo, or D, Yishun. It makes sense to, to start from, from the end of a, a, a line. So the first two lines was North, South, and East, West. So Jurong East is an intersect of East, West, and North, uh, and, and North South line. So I say Jurong East. The first MRC station that was completed was Topayo. <laughs> Why would they start there? Come on! Which is the oldest building in Singapore? A. The Old Supreme Court B. The Sultan Mosque C. Sri Mariaman Temple Or D. The Old Parliament House I think the clue is uh, old. So it, it's either Old Parliament House and Old Supreme Court. 
Supreme Court. Old Supreme Court. I'm sorry, you really what? Again, party. you were close. It's the old parliament house. It's always the first guess. <laughs> it's always the first guess. That's why they say sometimes don't second guess. Ah. That's right. Okay, so Ridwan still has three points. What does Majula Singapura mean in English? Onward Singapore. Good job, Ridwan. Four <laughs> points. Okay, Ridwan, now you're down to your last two questions, Ridwan. Yes. Complete the lyrics. Count on me, Singapore. Count on me to give. My best and more. And Ridwan has five points. Good yes. job, Ridwan. And your last question is, who sang the NDP 2009 theme song, What Do You See? A. Taufik Batisa. Two. Dick Lee. Three. Electrico. And four. Mika Pella. Electrico. Is that your final answer, Ridwan? Yeah, just a wild guess. Ridwan, I'm set to say that you finally didn't give in to your <laughs> second guess. You got that answer right, Ridwan. <laughs> so Ridwan has a total of six points. All right, Ridwan. Congratulations. You got six points out of. I don't know how much, but okay. Now it's time for Dan. Okay, Dan. Okay. So Ridwan already did his part. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for yours, Dan? If I'm I'm not. What am I gonna do about it? Let's go. So let's start with the first question. All right. What was the name given to Keppel Harbour when it began to service ocean-going vessels? New Harbour, Tanjung Pagar Harbour, Singapura Harbour, or Raffles Harbour? Can, can I call a friend? 50-50? Um, we don't have enough budget for that. <laughs> Ask the audience. <laughs> okay. I'm going to call it Raffles Harbour. Raffles Harbour? Yeah. Final answer? Yes. I'm sorry then, it was New Harbour. Wow, I'm so off. So Dan has a total of zero points for your first round then. Wow. For your second round, you have 10 questions. Mm. So if you answer all 10 questions correctly... I still have a chance. You still have a chance. Okay. Who was the first president of Singapore? A. Lee Kuan Yew. B. Yusuf Bin Ishak. C. Sang Nila Utama or D. Sir Stafford Raffles? President will be Yusuf Isha. Is that your final answer? Yeah. And Dan had a total of 1 point. Yay! Good job, Dan. Yay. Who was Singapore's first Prime Minister? Oh! Okay, okay A. Go Chok Tong. Mm -hmm. B. Lee Kuan Yew. Mm -hmm. C. Wee Kim Wee. Or D. Lee Hsien Long. Ah, of, of course it has to be Lee Kuan Yew. I'm sorry, Dan. Not. But you have two points now. Oh god, <laughs> you're making me start to doubt myself, I swear. Okay, two points for Dan. What happened to Singapore on February 15, 1942? A. Gain independence. B. The fall of Singapore. C. Our first total defense day. Or D. Hope B. Bus riot. Fall of Singapore to the Japan occupation. I'm impressed, Dan. You got it right, Dan. So now Dan has Oof. three points. Dan? What is the national bird of Singapore? We have a bird! Summer Tanega B. Crimson Sunbird C. Crimson Rosella Or D. Northern Cardinal I have a feeling that I'm going to probably end it off here. I don't know why, but I'm going to say Crescent, uh, the Crimson Sunbird. You got that right, Dan! Oh, really? Yeah. So oh. now Dan has a total of... Four points! Oh, wow! wow. <laughs> Which was the first MRC station to be completed? A. Topayo, B. Jurong East, C. Ang Kyo, or D. Yishun? Uh, so the first MRT, Ang Mo Kyo, Ang Mo Kyo looks the same. Jurong East cannot be because that's the end of Green Line already. So, wait. Unless they start from Green Line, the... the oh, ho. oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to end because I want to know so much more about Singapore. Okay, great. I'm just going to go with Jurong East. I'm sorry then, but it was Topayo. It's okay. You still have... Four points. Which is the oldest building in Singapore? A. The Old Supreme Court B. The Sultan Mosque C. Sri Mariaman Temple Or D. The Old Parliament House No, but see then again, Singapore started out as a Malay village first So there has to be a mosque first Oh, this is the oldest building in Singapore? Yes Sultan Mosque Do you have an answer? Yeah The answer is the Old Parliament House That makes sense, that makes sense, yeah It's okay so Dan still has four points. Your next question is, what does Majula Singapura mean in English? No options. No. Why not? Because it's pretty straightforward, Dan. You just answered me onward. 
Not bad. So that has five points. Complete the lyrics. Count on me, Singapore. Count on me to give my best and more. Do you have an answer there? Hey, wait, wait. Count on me, Singapore. Have you heard about the Mandela effect? Can... No, shut up! Shut up! Count on me to give my best and more. Together, Singapore, Singapore. Okay, then you have six points. I'm the one giving you the question. Are you questioning yeah. yourself? Wait, why am I the host again? <laughs> <laughs> this is your last question. Oh man, let's go. Who sang Andy P's 2009 theme song? What do you see? Taufik Batista. B. Dick Lee. C. Electrico. Or D. B. Capella. Okay, this is not fair because I wasn't in Singapore in 2009. I was still in Jakarta. Electrico was all over TV. I remember that. Out on a limb. Okay? Out on a limb. Because I'm, I'm a very bad Singaporean. Okay, okay. Is, Dick Lee. is that your final answer? Yeah. But the answer was electrical. Oh shit! I knew it! Because when I came back to Singapore, I was like, wait, who the hell is electrical? This is Singapore music. I was like, hey, wait, actually not bad. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's bring in Ridwan and we will talk about the points. So hey guys, welcome. So now it's time for the points. The points that you guys had both for 6-6. Six, six. The forfeit of this challenge is... I have in my hands a chili and it's stuffed with chili padi. You guys each have to eat the chili and after you guys eat the chili, you guys would have to sing a song, one of the songs from the National Day. Okay, are you guys up for it? We don't have a choice, we... Anytime? I think so. The kingdom will be good. Mother nugget. And start! Let's go guys! Ooh, wow! Ridwan is killing it! Okay, once you finish, you guys can just start singing the National Day song. Are you guys seeing this? I literally ate every single thing. It was stuffed with chili party. I heard my tongue came. I heard my tongue came. I heard my tongue came. I gave us all your chili. I heard my tongue came. My tongue. Eww! Oh, that's what I know. Our home, our heart, our Singapore. I'm done. Let's count it, right? Oh my god, I already want to pee. Okay, so we would like to wish Singapore a very happy birthday. And yeah, so subscribe, like, and don't forget to comment on what you guys want to see next. Happy National Day, bye bye.